Haiti, the last bastion of the man-eater. A modern stronghold for the cannibal. And potentially the next international location for a UFC fight night. Have you ever considered eating another human? Me neither, but unfortunately, Neil Magny and Ovin St. Pru do not share the same qualms about cannibalism as you and me. For those of you who don't know, Haiti has recently erupted into civil unrest and people are eating each other. Long Pig, aka Man Flesh, has long been a part of different traditional cuisines all around the earth, but has fallen out of fashion in the modern era. Fast forward to 2024 and eating your neighbor is trending in Haiti. Dana White has always been an innovator, a man who is ahead of the curve. So I am proposing that the UFC brings mixed martial arts to Haiti before Haiti brings cannibalism to us. Today, we're going to build the perfect UFC Port O Prince card. I think five fights on the main card is good enough for Haiti. They don't need six. So let's start with the card opener. This would be Ovince St. Pru versus both Justin and Junior Toffa. After seeing OSB style on the timid Nigerian schoolboy Kennedy in Zichukwu, I am totally confident that he could not only fight both the Toffa bros in the same night, he could beat them in the same fight. Let's see who the real alpha cannibal is. My West Indies Chad from Haiti, Ovin St. Pru, or my blubber boys from Samoa, Junior and Justin Taffa. Let's move on up to the co-featured fight, second fight on the card. Voodoo practitioners in Haiti and folk magic practitioners in parts of Africa believe that bald men have gold in their head. They believe that baldness is caused by gold growth inside your cranium. And there was a spat of attacks on baldies in parts of Africa and elsewhere where people were trying to see what was inside the head. They were trying to see if there was gold inside the head. I want to see Mark Smith's bald head defend itself from 13 Haitian teenagers trying to get inside there. You're not expecting to see literally a dozen skinny Haitian boys with machetes chasing Mark Smith around. He's panic-stricken. He's panic-stricken. And suddenly it gets very real. And, and the Haitian boys get very annoyed when they find there's no gold in the skull. We move on up to the actual featured fight, third fight on the card. I want to see Waldo Cortez Acosta, the Dominican salsa boy, and a squad of Dominican peacekeepers raid Angela Hill, the Swamp Witches shack, take all her poppets, potions, cauldrons, all the crap she's doing dark voodoo with, arrest her, put her in zip ties. Let's move on up to the co-main event, though. I want you to picture something. Picture something for me right now. You're sitting in the crowd. You've seen like a Haitian man beat the crap out of two Polynesians. You've seen the death of Mark Smith. And you have also seen Waldo Cortez Acosta on a spec ops mission. You're extremely unsettled. And suddenly over the arena loudspeakers, you hear, Please don't get too comfortable. You find it extremely distasteful because there's no way you could be comfortable at any level after what you've witnessed. And then the lights dim. A podium starts to rise out of the middle of the octagon. A shadowy figure has his head bowed, rising. A spotlight turns on, illuminating him. It's Nadavius de Moon Cash, aka Future, the most successful Haitian man ever to exist. He's holding Rich the Kid, one of the most embarrassing Haitian mans ever to exist, by a leash, forcing him to perform the plug walk 
like a little capuchin monkey. It is amazing. No one wants to watch a stupid WMMA co-main event. The crowd is completely put at ease by Future's performance, and we're ready for the main event. General Barbecue and 12 of his most loyal paramilitary troops walks out. Neil Magny is already in the octagon, nervous. He's shaking, he's pacing, he's trying to shake out his arms. General Barbecue is locking eyes with him from 100 feet away. It's not a fair fight. General Barbecue doesn't even get into the octagon. He sends his paramilitary goons in there. They throw a black bag over Neil Magny's head. A cauldron is produced by a battered Angela Hill, who has been prisoner swapped with the Dominican Republic. And Neil Magny is used in a voodoo ritual to empower General Barbecue. Let me know what you guys think of my UFC Haiti Fight Night card. I think we built the perfect card. If you enjoyed the video, smash a like on it right now. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. I post the widest variety of MMA content humanly possible. Card builders like this, recap videos, picks videos, serious documentaries, comedic tier lists, every last thing. I'd like to give a big thank you to all my channel members. Without you guys, the channel would not be possible. And a special thanks to my Lion Tier members, Coltus Gordon, Clarence, Mike Brannigan, Javier, Patrick Call, Droid C, John Paul DeHoria, Jack Clash, Wings of Heart Problems, Boss Gags, Maximus Decimus 88, Hans Molman, Uniform Down, Franz, Jesse on Estrogen, Abdiel, TKH, Anti Rigo, Girth, Ninja Choke, David Brannica, Ghost Diaz, Sunny Nihilist, Andros Basileis, Guy Dude 5, Darkstar, Pigger, E-Man, C-Ro, Cookenball, Lil Gloom, Brett Williams, Carter, Jace Broad, Johan Liber, Bogdan, and Frenchie Loves Fights. Dime Bobby. Dime Mommy.